to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Thursday, April 7th of 2022. The deficiency in the attention and the large number of retained vehicles that drivers seek for days without any results contribute to the disorder that prevails in the Vehicle Retention Center of the General Direction of Traffic Safety and Land Transportation, DGZ, located where the Canodrome used to be. President Luis Abinader announced yesterday that he will finance a total of 2,000 million pesos through the Bank for Development and Export, Bandex, to improve the structures of private medical centers. The Ministry of Health, Dr. Daniel Rivera, said that the Dominican Republic has more than 22 days without cases of death from COVID-19, while house-to-house -house vaccination process continued to be carried out at a national level. The president of the Dominical Medical College, CMD, Rufino Senen Cava, said yesterday that the contract signed by the Dominican state with the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca for the acquisition of vaccines to immunize the population against the coronavirus was a scam because the biologicals did not arrive. The Office for the Reorganization of Transport, OPRET, informed the users of the Santo Domingo cable car that there will be a suspension of service starting the Saturday 9th up until April 17th due to the fact that the scheduled maintenance work will be carried out on the sections 1 and 2. The trade union centers that group domestic workers received the Minister of Labor, Luis Miguel de Camps, on Tuesday, with whom they share the proposed resolution that seeks to regulate the rights of these domestic workers in the Dominican Republic. The director of Listín Diario, Miguel Franjul, stated that print newspapers should not be afraid of digitalization because it is a transition process from traditional to digital journalism, focused on a new culture of services and contribution to the debate, favoring analysis, research of the how, and the consequences of daily events. The superintendents of the security market approved yesterday the first program of issuance of ordinary or common shares of the capital market industry in the Dominican Republic, a structure for the company Cesar Iglesias by BHD Leon Stock Market, which is also co-responsible for the placement of these shares together with Inversiones Popular Stock Market. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.